off we go. Um, so we have an interesting reading today. It's uh, Roberto Simonowski's chapter, Digital, um, Digital Nation, um, from his book. Um, I'll, I'll give you the key points in a second here, but I'm going to kind of use the key points also as a way to sort of talk about this chapter, because this is an incredibly dense chapter, right? Um, he's mobilizing a lot of theories, a lot of theorists, a lot of sort of dense philosophy, um, even, even you know, beyond the fact that the chapter is so thick and we only read a portion of it. Um, this is a chapter that for me, for even me to kind of fully grasp everything that's going, going on, it would take me a, a, a great deal of time, um, and to be frank, time that I don't really have right now. So I expect um, uh, when you get to it, 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 it's going to be a difficult reading. But I'm going to implore you that um, kind of sort of resist the sort of natural inclination that comes. Um, and, and, you know, just to, just be assured that, you know, just as it comes for you, it comes for me too. Like, don't, don't like, try and just sort of dismiss writing that's like this, where it's really dense and kind of complicated um, and verbose and intricate. Um, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Um, you know, uh, I think it's it's okay to kind of come to terms with something to say like you know, I'm not quite at uh, a place where this is something I can immediately and obviously digest. That doesn't say anything about you per se, other than like we just have to put in more effort. You know, um, and it's one thing to say like I don't want to put in that effort. That's totally fine for me personally. I think that's okay. So like, I just can't deal with this. But to dismiss it and to kind of absolve oneself by saying that's because this is stupid or that's because this is too hard or too needlessly hard, that's a problem, I think, right? D does that make sense? So, um, you know, just like try and be careful of that. Like, don't just like sort of, you know, blanket dismiss things. Um, you know, stop for a second and think about, like, again, that's the critical move. What is, what, why do I have this reaction? What is this kind of not jiving with? What does that say about me? Um, or, or what can I rather? What can I learn about myself in that sense? Um, because I do think that ultimately, what I want to say is, what this chapter does, and I think what this book does, it's just another version of what you and I do every day. He's just trying to find answers regarding phenomenon, you know, that that that's like current, that's going on right now. And another way to put that is like he's trying to understand social media, and he's trying to kind of really rigorously. Um, uh, uh, sort of find answers regarding what it does and what it does to us specifically. Um, I don't know if you've seen those videos that are on on YouTube, those videos, um, but it's like, you know, a, a dish by like three levels of cooks where it's like, um, uh, um, you know, amateur, home chef, pro chef all do um, grilled cheese and, and, you know, the very, very drastically different um, results. Think of this like that, very similarly. In some senses, like if if a lot of uh, uh, you know in the class we've heard it again and again. What are the pros and cons? What are the benefits and disadvantages? I'm not ter like me personally. I think I've said this to you before, um, and and I think I've said it in feedback. I'm not a huge fan of that kind of model of thinking, um, and and I can always like you know sort of expand and elaborate on why, but. Think of that as the kind of like um, home or, or like amateur version uh, in that scheme of like amateur home chef, home cook, uh, pro chef. This is like the pro chef version of that. Um, and part of why I don't think it's the same is that um, uh, it tries as best as possible to kind of like, it's not sort of trying to have it both ways or trying to kind of like waffle back and forth in sort of indecisiveness. It's trying to actually rigorously sort of take account and take stock and then very kind of explicitly say, but at the end of the day, it's this and or it's this, right? And so what are the things that it's trying to do? For one, you know, this is a critique of social media. And again, when we talk about critique or criticism, it's not what people generally think, um, which is why it's like, you know, the only thing, two things that people ever do is e it's like either kind of showering, you know, praise on everything or talking shit. 
There's no middle ground. There's no actual kind of critical engagement. It, criticism is not pointing your finger. It is a kind of critical in analysis. Critical in the kind of like trying to be objective and calling it as it is, right? Um, in relation to that, it's how we have changed in relation to social media and digital media. What are the actual kind of changes? And clearly, he's not talking necessarily on a sort of physiological or physical level so much as, you know, there are people outside and they're walking dogs. Um, we're talking about, um, uh, I don't think they're six feet apart. Or maybe it's just because I can't get a good sense. Um, I'm ratting on them. Anyways, um, uh, uh, but a, much more in like a psychic sense, but also like a morally, ethically, politically, how has our sort of headspace and how have how we navigate the world, how has that changed, right? On three, he's talking about the sort of sociality of Facebook, or another way to put that is that Facebook and Zuckerberg um, purports to sort of produce a particular type of community. Community is a word that gets thrown around so much, right? Um, people on social media say that they produce like this new community, that the uh, internet allows a global community. Um, again, um, uh, Simonowski is not sort of kind of um, indulging in that sort of wishy-washy, um, it is whatever it want, want, you want it to be, man, that kind of um, language. He's trying to be incredibly precise. Is it a community? How is it a community? What type of community? Does that mean it's a global community in a real sense that it includes everyone? He's being very, very rigorous, right? It's like just because you call it something doesn't mean, you know, that that's what it is. You have to be precise about these things. Um, and then finally, it has to do with that kind of like the 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 thing about the the amateur to the pro chef. They're not like three alien like species that are just like three to like three it's not like it's a trash can an apple and a bus they're three different types of people they're on the same continuum right which means that one can go that way and one can go that way the pro this isn't this is not a terribly sophisticated thought and it's kind of related to what i'm saying the pro chef was an amateur at one point there's no saying the amateur will not become a pro chef no saying that the pro chef will not degrade back to an amateur right in a similar sense um the sophisticated is found in the everyday and vice versa. And so what I mean by that is that um, Simonowski is basically kind of expanding and elaborating on things that you and I talk about. But that's really the question that I'm posing to all of us is that are we happy and content on being one of the people who pops off on Facebook and has a hot take about any given thing, but really we're just kind of making like you know, sort of mundane grilled cheese, right? You know, intellectually, politically. We're making points that everyone else makes. You know, and it's, that doesn't mean it's not true, but, you know, we're just kind of adding to the cacophony, right? Or are we trying to push ourselves, you know, in the way that I think Semenowski is really pushing our, himself? You know, that's why it's difficult. Because it's not just... And, 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 and in fact, that's exactly what the chapter is about. It's how everything is, is, is a pop-off and a hot take and no one has time to read, you know, 58 uh, uh, pages about it. You know, if we care so much about social media, why aren't we reading books about social media? No, we read, you know, and that's the funny thing, right? We, we complain about hot takes. We complain about popping off. We complain about clickbait, right? But then, like, but do we actually do anything different? No, it's like we kind of keep doing the same thing. And that's exactly what the chapter is about, right? Um, so, you know, I guess that's what it comes down to, like... Don't be reductive. Don't throw babies, you know, babies out with the bathwater. And also, like, you know, as I've said, I think nearly on every single, you know, to every single one of you, push yourselves, challenge yourselves, right? You know, um, get used to discomfort. You know, that's the only way that we can grow. So, um, actually, like talking about the chapter has like made me more excited about it than actually, you know, between you and I reading it. So, um, to be frank, um, but yeah, okay.